Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 6th of April 2024 and today we're off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Macclesfield FC in a semi-final of the FA Trophy. So I'm in Gateshead and uh, going into this afternoon's FA Trophy semi-final, Macclesfield are currently in third place in the Northern Premier League Premier Division table, but despite the fact it is a two-league gap, um, I am fully expecting this to be a very, very difficult semi-final this afternoon, and it's certainly not a foregone conclusion. Um, I think it's probably going to be the toughest game of the lot, really, and you think of it on this run so far, um, other than against Rochdale when we first came in in the third round, uh, we've played lower league opposition in every round since and uh, certainly not made easy work of it Western Supermare taking us to penalties uh, Hereford's uh, goalkeeper going up for the header in the last minute and uh, hitting the post uh, Peterborough Sports very nearly pegging us back from being 3-0 uh, down so um, it's been fine margins here and there but we are here but uh, as I said um, we've got to respect the challenge that the opposition will provide this afternoon uh, Macclesfield um, when I first came in played against Hanley Town but uh, in every round since then other than the quarterfinals against uh, Colville Town have uh, faced sides from higher leagues than themselves and uh, beaten all of them comfortably really uh, several sides from the National League North and the National League South and uh, I think the most notable result has to be uh, their 5-0 win over Dorking Wanderers, of course, Dorking uh, are in our league, and uh, the week after that 5 0 game, uh, Dorking went and beat us. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a really, really difficult game for us this afternoon. But uh, all the same, I do think we have reasons to be confident ourselves as well. And uh, speaking of Gateshead, we are now in sixth place in the National League table. Uh, in our absence on Monday with our, our game being called off thanks to the sheer incompetence of a certain club from Lancashire. Um, one or two results maybe didn't quite go our way elsewhere but all the same we are still in a fantastic position but all the same I think as well um, like we've got to manage the squad properly today because uh, we've got three games coming up in the next week after today. Uh, two of those away from home, uh, obviously uh, all the shot coming to the International Stadium on Tuesday night, um, then the rearranged game at Fylde, then uh, the last away game of the season which is away to uh, Maidenhead. Um, so by this time next week uh, a playoff spot could be secured or at least as good as, so um, it's uh, there's a lot on the line for us and obviously if we do win this, this game today it would be us getting to Wembley into the FA Trophy final for a second year in a row. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'd like celebrate. I mean, obviously last year against Barnet, I did celebrate that result pretty wildly. But I think this time it's probably got a bit of a different feel to it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think obviously last year when the Wembley weekend itself came about, I think it became maybe a bit more about the weekend. Whereas I think this time, if we were to get there, it would be a bit more about the football but uh, it would be a very tough game 
Either way, if we were to get there, of course, the other semi-final will take a place. This afternoon is between Bromley and Solihull Moors. Uh, two sides that are obviously, obviously around us in, in the league table. The two sides that have uh, beaten us this season. So, um, regardless, it would be a tough game. But uh, we've just got to focus on this one for the time being. Macclesfield are going to be a very difficult game. I think they're going to be right up for it. They're probably going to show... No fear, um, they'll be coming up here, like maybe even thinking that they've got nothing to lose because I uh, know they've obviously got the likes of John Rooney, who's got like vast, vast experience of playing at, at our level. Um, but then again, they've got like players like Kane Drummonds that, that know where the back of the net is and, and that can hurt you. So uh, we've got to be switched on to their th- threats that they, they pose. But uh, I think if we can. Um, stamp power authority on this game and uh, yeah just like really take it to them um, like let, let like really let them know that um, we're, we're not like we're not like anything that they've played before since uh, they uh, obviously came back in business um, obviously uh, they are the Phoenix Club of uh, Macclesfield Town um, and uh, obviously I'd start again in the North West Counties League but uh, this is probably the biggest day in the, in the new club's short history so uh, it's going to be a, a big game for them it'll be a good atmosphere created by both fans I'm sure of that but uh, let's hope by the time I'm doing my full time review where uh, we've got um, another trip to Wembley to, to look forward to but uh, let's hope uh, the next few weeks will prove it that next that that trip to Wembley isn't our next trip to Wembley but the one after um, but anyway let's head on down to the international stage and find out how it all unfolds So the team's warming up, uh, Macclesfield getting ready in a half of the new A-teams always do. Uh, going to be in an old blue home strip this afternoon. Uh, Gates are getting ready over there, of course, going to be in a white and black. Um, you see a decent atmosphere building up in here, as you can tell. Um, for once, we're actually getting spring-like temperatures, but what I will say is the wind is uh, pretty notable, so uh, that could play a bit of a part today. Anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel, ready to start the match. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 
So an update from the other game, it is Bromley nil, Solihull 1. 1-1. 1-1, Solihull, Time gates at two Macclesfield FC nil. Um, on paper, the scoreline looks a formality, and uh, you'd think um, with the way the game's gone so far that we were absolutely cruising it. But uh, that wind is absolutely like insane, really, and uh, it's going to be a long slog in the second half trying to play against it. I'm expecting uh, obviously Macclesfield will try and make the most of that, so uh, we've got to be, I'd say, tactically smart in the second half. But nevertheless, it has been. A really professional display from us so far. Um, we've uh, like had pretty much total control of the game. Uh, Macclesfield maybe sat off us a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what their, their approach was for this game today. Whether it was to uh, maybe try and get at us a bit more, or to uh, maybe sit in a bit and uh, see if they can maybe catch us on the break, as a few teams have done this season. Um, but I think. Yeah, as I said, the weather's maybe taken um, sort of the, the t uh, tactics of it all out of uh, like out of out of both teams' hands, and uh, yeah, it is going to be a long second half. Ed, I mean, if we can uh, just play it right, uh, maybe try and dictate the possession a bit more, then slow the game down a bit. That might be how we we do this. But as I say, I am fully expecting uh, Macclesfield to have uh, quite a few more chances in the second half. So because of the wind, they've had to uh, tie the dugouts to the stand, um, obviously they are wheeling dugouts, um, there's Macclesfield as well, which uh, before the game just totally rolled away, then uh, at half time just blew over. Anyway, on to the second half. It's not the start, second half we wanted. So the score update is Bromley 1, Sully Hull 1. 1-1. One, one. Bromley 1, Solly Hall 2. Yeah! 
two years in a row going to one way. <laughs> and good luck rest of the season. Full-time Gateshead 2, Macclesfield FC 1. Uh, I really didn't expect to get as, as emotional as I was at full-time, but um, I think some things you just really like can't control, no matter how hard you try. And, uh, yeah, it was just... Um, I really don't know what came over me and why I maybe burst out into tears a little bit. But um, I think I was... I, th I think what it was is it was just... Um, I was looking around like the that stands before the the game ended, and I'm um, sorry to like name drop a few people here, but I was looking at like you know people like Lee Calder, Josh Oxley, uh, and Scurfield, like people like that that have uh, over the years have invested a lot of time into following this football club, and uh, I think the fact that yeah we've got to the FA Trophy final for a second year in a row, Wembley for a second year in a row, it's, um, it is a, an absolutely monumental achievement, but um, honestly, like, I think as good as today was, and I think, re yeah, like, collectively, we really got it spot on today, I thought, um, the players got it spot on in terms of uh, their approach to the game, their game management, um, obviously dealing with that pretty wild wind i think rob elliott got it spot on and i thought um yeah the, the atmosphere was absolutely fantastic in that 
uh, stand as well. So uh, I'm, I'm really, really proud of everyone at the football club today. But uh, what I will say is that um, like we are so close now to securing a playoff spot. It is like well and truly within our grasp. And uh, I really want us to to get there and in three weeks time I want to be celebrating another trip to Wembley um, you know what I mean um, like I hope that what we've just done today isn't for our next trip to Wembley but the one after if that makes sense uh, obviously um, the FA Trophy final is not until Saturday the 11th of May uh, Solihull Moors will be the opponents uh, following their uh, 2-1 win over Bromley this afternoon um, but the uh, Sunday before that, Sunday the 5th of May, is a playoff final and I, I want us to be there and uh, I've like, I really and truly honestly trust these lads to like just give absolutely everything they've got to be able to get there. Um, I think um, last year it was all about discussing the process, I think um, the sort of buzz phrase, if you will, this year has been about never too low, never too high. Um, well, enjoy this one tonight because um, obviously, uh, you know, getting to Wembley for the second year in a row is absolutely unbelievable, particularly for a non-league club and a non-league club that um, financially shouldn't be anywhere near like achieving what we actually are achieving. But uh, come uh, tomorrow morning, I think the attention does turn once again to uh, all the shot on. Tuesday night which is going to be a tricky game uh, there off the boil a little bit at a minute and but uh, they, they, they are up there and uh, we've got to respect that but I just really hope that um, a lot of uh, the people that were there perhaps for the first time perhaps they don't come that often but I hope a lot of them do come back on Tuesday night um, purely and simply because they just really enjoyed their day today and uh, want like more of the same and uh, as I was saying before the game like if we can uh, get maybe like a, w a win and a draw from the three games this coming week uh, then I think that probably could be playoffs as good as done but uh, you know what it is like like third place isn't beyond, beyond our grasp at the minute and uh, if, if we can get that get the home semi-final uh, like I think we sh maybe showed today that the crowd can make an absolutely massive difference and uh, yeah it's, it's just like it's, it's been a fantastic season for the football club uh, to get to the uh, cup final for a second year in a row just really hope this time we can go on better and uh, maybe to some degree um, the fact that we had that experience last year will um, will potentially work in our favour um, I mean obviously um like with, like, and I think as well, if we do get the playoffs as well, that might even in turn help the FA Trophy final as well. Because uh, obviously, I think the big issue last year was a uh, distinct lack of match fitness. Because uh, obviously, the season finished on the 29th of April, and the, the trophy final wasn't until the uh, 21st of May. So uh, there was a lot of lack of match fitness. I mean, granted, that was the same for Halifax as well, but uh, I think. You know, this time around we've got more like personnel to choose from. Uh, I think obviously that now we've experienced what it's like to lose at Wembley, or this uh, current cr this current crop of experience, what it's like to lose at Wembley. Uh, can we go on better? You know, that's the big question. What I'm asking, but uh, I've got to say, like fair play to uh, Macclesfield, uh, to the fans who I thought were brilliant today the, the players gave it everything they got but I think ultimately um, in terms of the game I think we played it right in terms of like when we were like when we had the wind in our favour when it wasn't in our favour I think um, and I think that's ultimately what it came down to today but uh, I think for Macclesfield I think um, they've got every chance like w when it comes to the, not the NPL playoffs and things like that um, I mean you know, they maybe stand out as a team to beat a little bit and uh, you know what in in uh, three weeks time three weeks from today um, I'm hoping that, uh, that I can be there when uh, Macclesfield play against Whitby on the uh, last weekend of the uh, regular season uh, obviously that depends on what Gates I do in terms of uh, like will we be in a playoff semi-final that Saturday night uh, for that to happen we'd have to I finish second in the league or finish uh, fifth slash 
slash sixth then win the eliminator but uh, we'll, just, we'll just wait and see but all the same um, on a personal level uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic season and um, that's just another like real big highlight to go into it but uh, as we say we're not done yet um, we've got we know we've got the taste for getting to Wembley C- can in three weeks time we'll be celebrating another trip to Wembley and uh, as I say um, like and, and stay and not be celebrating uh, our next trip there but the one after um, obviously we'll, we'll find out over the next few weeks but that is that for this video and I'll be back on Tuesday night with that Gateshead versus all the shot town games so uh, if you live locally get yourself down back the lads and uh, let's go and get ourselves a playoff spot but until then take care cheers for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend see you later